So pretty much with this being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a lot of um, women and men are looking for ways that they can better um, prevent or do screenings um, for breast cancer. And the number one tool um, that they use is mammograms. And mammograms are pretty, is pretty much a way and a machine actually that presses down and condenses um, the fatty and muscle tissue of the breast and it scans it for density. And within those dense areas of the breast, they're able to look and see, well, is this density just heavy fat tissue? Is it tumorous? Is it benign? And kind of see what's causing this grouping of mass within the breast. And once they do detect something, then they usually do um, a biopsy um, to see if it's cancerous, if it's not cancerous, and how to handle it from there. Um, with this being a college campus, um, we do have um, a diverse student population, so we don't have your typical 18, 24, 25. So when it comes to mammograms, usually um, they don't start doing them regularly until you're about 30 or 35. Or if you have a um, family history of different types of cancers, especially breast cancers. So for all those that don't really fall in that category, the number one thing that you can do is your at-home self-breast exam. Now, the typical person, when they think about their at-home self-exam, is just, you know, the feeling of the breast. So they pretty much just feel their breast and like, oh, they feel fine. And that's, that's all there is to it. But um, what we like to teach when we do our Breast Cancer Awareness Day is how to properly do a self-exam. So one of the first steps is the time of month, especially if you're a young lady, that you're doing your exam. If you're doing your exam near or around your cycle, you have a higher chance of falsely finding things that may be irregular. When you have a lot of high hormones going through your body, um, your lymph node system, which is where you usually find any of the masses, can become a little tense, tight, and you may feel different irregularities um, during that time. So the, what they recommend is that you don't do your breast exam near your menstrual cycle. So your hormone levels are standard, stable, and normal. Um, the other important thing is when you're doing your breast exam, you can do it a couple different ways. Most people prefer to do it while standing up, which is fine. But if you do it while you're standing up, the number one thing is to raise your arm and place it behind your head because most people just feel the breast itself. But since you're thinking about your lymph node system, it's really important for you to start in your armpit and work your way down to your rib cage, which is right under your breast. And that's mostly because your whole lymph node system runs from your armpits through your arms, through your chest, and down. So if you're starting from top to bottom, you're able to get that full area covered. So think collarbone and down. And then you're also needing to feel the breast. And unfortunately, when I say feel the breast, it's not just a light touch or a rub. You need to be a little aggressive. You need to really squeeze the tissue like a mammogram to see if you can feel anything. Because most of the time, um, the tumors that might form might be on a cellular level and you may not feel them. But if you do feel them, a little pat on the breast or a little rub is not gonna be enough to detect them. You have to add pressure and you have to do movement. So adding pressure, circular motion, and really getting in there. So most times my kind of word of advice is if you're doing your self-exam and it's not a little uncomfortable, you're not doing it the right way. Um, another good tip is um, if you have bigger breasts, um, you would like, you would need to more than likely do your breast exam while laying on your back. So therefore, the fatty tissue and muscles are kind of relaxed and spread out, and then you have a better opportunity to do deep tissue rubbing um, so you can feel for any masses of any sort. Um, other than that, it's really good to do it monthly so you're aware of any changes because you might have done it, say, three or four months and felt nothing, and then all of a sudden something feels a little bit different. If something feels a little bit different, I don't say be alarmed and go call a doctor, but if month number two happens and you still feel that change, then it's good to go ahead and get a professional opinion so you can figure out what that may or may not be. 
Um, with breast cancer, the number one thing that has saved people's lives is early detection. So being vigilant on kind of your own self-care and knowing how your body functions and what it should look like is really important in the fight against cancer.